I wish I had really good things to say about the Final Destination 3D. Uh, I, I would like to say that it was a lot of fun, that even though it's the fourth movie in the Final Destination franchise, it still manages to kind of tap into that sense of not taking itself too seriously that a couple of the earlier films did. Uh, unfortunately, I, I can't really say any of those things. The Final Destination is a pretty weak movie, even for the type of movie that it is. I'm not a huge fan of the Final Destination franchise as a whole, but I find the movies to be somewhat entertaining. I especially like the second one that seemed to really get the fact that it was a little bit ridiculous and, and kind of played things over the top. The Final Destination takes itself way too seriously. It's all angst and drama and everyone's dying and there's really nothing creative about it in any way, shape, or form. You get some new deaths and some new styles of deaths that weren't in the earlier movies, but really it just feels like a repetition of the first movie. It doesn't even have the sense to really reference itself all that much, aside from an occasional self-reference to the first movie here or there. There's nothing in it that really shows any sort of cleverness or intelligence when it's making of the film. It really is just a bunch of deaths, one after the other, with a couple of scares, a couple of sequences that make you wonder if it's really happening or just a uh, flash forward, if you will. And um, even seeing it in 3D in the theaters or on Blu-ray, uh, it can't save the film from just really being the ultimate in mediocrity. Now, the Blu-ray does include a 3D version of the film, but it also includes a 2D version of the film, which is good. I don't care for 3D on home video. I don't like the blue and red SpectraVision 3D. I find it to be kind of annoying because it mutes all the colors of the picture, and it, it isn't really the greatest 3D effect in the world. Still, I've seen the film in 3D in the theaters. It wasn't even that impressive then, so I wouldn't waste your time watching it in 3D. Stick with the 2D version. At least then you can reap the benefits of the high-definition transfer. The soundtrack is pretty impressive. There's a lot going on in this film, a lot of action, a lot of deaths, a lot of crazy things exploding here and there, and you really do get a workout from your speakers. Things go whizzing by you left and right, and you might even find yourself ducking your head once or twice. So in that respect, at least, the film is somewhat successful. I think it says something about a movie when the top listed extra feature on the DVD is an exclusive first look at the all-new A Nightmare on Elm Street movie. Uh, I think that says a little something. They're probably going to sell more copies of this movie because of that than because of the quality of the actual film itself. But in addition to the exclusive first look at Nightmare on Elm Street, there are also two alternate endings for the film. Uh, the Final Destination pre-visualization and storyboards, which I've never been a gigantic fan of, uh, and a featurette called Body Count, the deaths of the Final Destination, which kind of takes a look at the key death scenes, which is pretty much the entire movie. Um, in addition, there is a digital copy of the film that's exclusive to Blu-ray, and also on the DVD, not exclusive to Blu-ray, you get some additional scenes. Like I said, both the 2D and 3D versions of the film are included, so at least there's that for those of you who are actually diehard fans of this franchise. Ultimately, the Final Destination in 3D isn't really worth your time. Even with the 3D added, I don't think it's enough to really get you to plunk down your money for this movie. If you like this franchise, I guess it's worth checking out. I can't say it's a terrible, terrible movie. It just doesn't do anything interesting at all.